Hi everybody, my name is Jaden. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. And I'm Caden. And we are the Yahoo on the Tour YouTube channel. And we thank you guys very much for your time. We appreciate it. We hope that you guys have a wonderful day. You guys are definitely our extended family. And if you are listening to this, then you are in this boss clan. And we are in your clan. And we are just family as Yah would have us be. And we appreciate your time. Thank you guys very much. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Good. 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 What's, uh, what's the day look like for you guys? Uh, partly cloudy. Partly cloudy, yeah. What, what are you guys doing today? Uh, I assume dog baths, but that's if power is up and yeah. water is good. So. Yeah, if we get some power, a little bit more sun, we might get some dog baths in because we got to pump some water. Um, how was your day yesterday? Good. What did you guys do? Uh, cleaning organizations. Cleaning organization. Eli? Shepherd cows. Shepherding cows, how'd that go for you? Pretty good. You didn't lose any cows? Uh, the two little girls, they like separate from the other herd. Right. And Cade, what did you do? Uh, I just helped with organization. All right, just helping around the house, trying to get caught up just a little bit around here. Nicole, how you doing? Good. What did you say? Um, cooked, baked. Cooked, baked, doing the normal stuff. This morning she's over there with uh, my little exercise bike. She has wrenches out. She's all over there. She looks like a uh, bike mechanic or something of the sort. So um, she's fixing me all up. And that's usually how it goes around this house. I don't know why. But Nicole is comes from, uh, her dad was a machinist. And she's very, very handy. And she's always been very, very handy. And so um, if it doesn't get done around here, she'll actually like sit down and like get out the tools and either build it, or put it back together, fix it or something of the sort. So um, yeah, she's she's like that. She's that girl. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, gentlemen, What? Uh, where are we at? And uh, let's break into our handy dandy split screen. And we're there. Okay, uh, tonight, let's um, actually, let's, let's do a little bit of a uh, sales work here. Uh, first sales I'd like to do is uh, let everybody know that you guys can see the laws, statutes, and commands of our creator. It is at yahooandthetorah.net. It is the same thing that we go over and the same thing that we are adding to. Uh, not adding to, that sounds bad. That sounds real bad. Yeah, it sounds real bad. Yeah, adding to the Torah, take it out. No, it is, uh, and we're trying to be very respectful of this list because we're not, we don't, we want to make sure everything possible that we can keep as far as command is in this list and everything Levitical is not. So we have it down here. The same thing that we go off of is now on a website and um, yahooandthetorah.net. So hopefully somebody out there will appreciate that, use that, and uh, share that more than anything. It's simple enough when people are like, well, the laws of God are on the cross. Send them to yahooandthetorah.net and ask them which law shall we start with, which law should we put on the cross to begin with, and um, I guess take it from there. I mean, they can... They can say they don't want to be fruitful, they don't want to multiply, or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, all right, Numbers 10. Here we go. And Yahuwah has spoken to El Moshe, saying, Make you two trumpets of silver, of a whole piece shall you make them, that you may use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to you at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. Now, these are a little bit different than the... Um, shofar. Shofar, right? These are like actual trumpets. Right. These are actually like the real deal trumpets made out of silver, all this kind of stuff. So for those who do not know what a shofar is, and Sylvia Ewart's just finally, she ended up with enough cash. She got her first shofar. It's going to be coming very soon. So we get a round of applause for yes. Sylvia. Yay. So everybody out there who, uh, yeah, enjoy the uh, shofar, dear sis. Um, for anybody that doesn't have a shofar, um, I'm not saying $25 is a, a, a small amount of money, but you can get them for like $20. I think I even saw one for maybe 18 or 19 You don't have to get large ones. It doesn't have to be the large in a charge. You can get a tiny little ram's horn, and it's, you know, 25 bucks if you can afford that. But I do know the condition of everyone today, and that, that is a tremendous amount of cash. So good job, Sylvia, um, for anybody out there. What's the significance of us of the ram's horn, gentlemen? Why why is it important that we have this? Well, it's something we're going to be blowing in the end days. It's something that when Yeshua returns, we're going to be blowing it to await His call. What else? Why else is it important to have a, a shofar? Ah, uh, for the day of blessing. Okay, that's good. What else? Dumped what other over. What other condition would we have the shofar for? New moons. Moon. New moons. Yes, yeah, the real. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, new moons. And so once once a month, we're supposed to blow our shofars, and we're supposed to, you know, the the people of Yah are supposed to be these little peculiar people out there blowing a ram's horn, and you know where we're all in slavery and captivity. That would literally be going out inside, you know, right outside, and you know people will be looking over at you like, man, these guys are wacky. But yeah, that's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be um, set apart, peculiar, and so. This is not the shofar we're talking about. All right, 
Yeah, this is like a, a like a lunch bell. I don't know if you guys have ever like heard like a lunch bell. Anybody out there listening? When they ring the bell, everyone assembles and eats lunch. This is what it was supposed to be. When they blew the shofar, everyone was supposed to gather around. They were supposed to hear what was to be said, whether they're going out to war, or whether an announcement was going to be made, whether they had a new law. Dude, I thought you said lunch pail, and I'm like, dude, I think everybody out there is old enough to remember lunch pails. No, a lunch bell. You know, I know, like, I got like it. When the like, <laughs> fire stations, or like uh, if you ever go uh, to a summer camp or something, they always ring this bell, and everybody comes running for lunch. So. Yep, yep. So it's just like that. Nicole has something here. My number three says when both are blown. Okay, and they shall blow with them. All the assemblies shall assemble themselves to you. So when both are blown. Okay, so yeah. it does say that in NIV as well. Might as well. Blow with them. I mean, I guess it assumes it with both of them. All right, so one to four. And if they blow but with one trumpet, then the princes, which are the heads of the thousands of Yashrael, shall gather themselves unto you. And mine says leaders, so. Leaders. Basically, when those who were chosen to do the right ruling, when uh, Jethro, Yethro, those who, uh, when he separated them and says, this is what you're going to do, all leaders that were doing the right ruling over the houses, when that was blown, they were there for the commands. They were going to pass it down to the people. So can you imagine that? So if somebody, they blew one horn, right? Everybody would be like, hey, hey. They'd be all, everybody, the, the main dude, the leader would be like sitting there eating They'd some breakfast. They'd push them off. And Get off, yeah. run, run. Just all right. get them running. All right. When you blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. So who are the east part people? Judah. Judah, yeah. So when there's a problem, they send out Yahuda. That's an that's an alarm. So I guess alarm was like of war when they defended. They just like all right, go send Somebody's out the warriors. Somebody sneaking up on them. So I mean, basically, see, this is a cool cool thing about this entire thing is they're all assembled around the temple, right? The temple should be their main focus of everything, right? And so they they're defending the temple. They're they're just posted up around it. I mean, everything is about Yah, and I mean, what an amazing time of of the world. All right, did I do six? Okay, six. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. Okay. For them to depart. So it was just when they were leaving, the, when basically the cloud was gone, the pillar, and they were still to travel, they all went out in, I think, with orderly fashion. So it was one went, uh, doot-doot, and then the first east tribe would go, and then doot-doot. Like two, uh, you get two sounds, and then this tribe would go. I think they all went out in like almost like a single file military line here. I think it was this means when it says they were to depart. Yeah, these these trumpets are going to be uh, pretty cool. Um, I think it tells us a little bit more here. But when the assembly is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound with an alarm. Oh, say so mine says shout. You do not shout. So there's going to be like a yell with that. Okay. Mine says the trumpets in short, sharp tones. So like beep, 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 something like that, an alarm. Okay. Eight. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be for you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. So that would be a command if we were in the land, because we would have all that just for all generations. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before Yahuwah Elohekim, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days, in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your ascending smoke offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohekim. Um, is that a command? That's what I was wondering. Um, it's, I mean, it's talking about, okay, so it's, it's before the smoke offerings, right? So in the day of your gladness, so if you're happy... If you're, you're happy, right? Is that what it says, gladness? Uh, rejoicing. Yeah, so when you're happy, go out and blow your shofar, blow your horn. Um, and in your solemn days, I guess if you're sad or like things aren't working well, go blow your horn. And in the beginnings of your months, that'd be on the new wounds. You shall blow with the trumpets over your sinning smoke offerings. So this is over the top of smoke offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that you may be to you for a memorial before Yahuwah, Elohim, your Elohim. I am Yahuwah, Elohim. So, um, I know we're supposed to, we already have one. For, do we have one already for Blow the Shafar? Mm. I don't think we do, do we? We have one on the new moon, right? Oh, yeah, we do. So, I don't know because you're supposed to blow it over peace offerings. So, mine says, also in the day of rejoicing and set, and in your set feasts and at the beginnings of your months, you so. shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and your peace offerings. So that is that is a command. I mean, it doesn't say you, you got to have the whole thing in context. I mean, if it just says blow your trumpets, it says over your ascending smoke offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings. Um, anyone? Um, 
I don't know, because we have it where it says do it in the appointed times, and it's where you have your offering. So I don't know if it's two separate things or if it's just where we we're supposed to, where we uh, basically left. We our wouldn't have a peace offering, and we wouldn't have a sacrifice, right? No, so there's we nothing. have all the others. We have the beginning of the months, and we have the psalm feast days. And over your over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before you, Elohim. Um, anyone else? Mine's just blood in your appointed times and over your new months, and then it goes into the sacrifices. The so second part of that verse. Maybe we're supposed to uh, blow the shofars on every 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 feast as well, other than the day of trumpets. Or whenever we're happy, whenever we're sad. Um. But see, the solemn days says feast days in mine and appointed times in theirs for okay. the solemn days. Right, so it's not sad days. It's like uh, times are supposed to be like serious. Okay, um, I guess so. I guess add it in there. Um, where would that go? Is this a new command? No, I think it's under where we have blow your shofars. But that's under the new moon, right? Um, I don't know. i got to go find it. Okay, this will be interesting. We'll, we'll talk on this. Okay, let me reread this again. Let's read it out of the, the NIV. Also, at your times of rejoicing, your appointed festivals and new moon feasts, you are to sound the trumpets over your burnt offering and fellowship offerings. So here's the gig, though. It says trumpets. It doesn't say shofars, right? This is this one's literally a trumpet, right? They beat this thing with with hammers, and they, they made a silver shofar out of silver. Um, uh, thoughts, anyone? I think this is for them. I don't think this is for us in general. I think this is for them where they were supposed to like be in the camp. They were supposed I mean, we to don't have a silver trumpet. Right. We would have to get a silver trumpet if we want to do this. If not, we'd be blowing shofars. Is it like the tuba? A trum it's a trumpet. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a piece of brass. Um, thoughts, anyone? Jade, are you even with me today? Yeah. Are you here? No, I was just thinking, uh, we do have a silver trumpet. I know. We, do we? Yeah, yeah. I remember ta I taught you that one. Oh, he does? Yeah, he is, it's a, I think it was coated in metal. It doesn't blow very well, though. Oh, we have one. I didn't yeah. know we had one. It's on the stand. It's uh, somewhere more. Oh, okay, boxes. so we do have one. Maybe that's why he had that trumpet then, or something of the sort. Um, okay, so I, I'm not I'm not convinced on this. Anyone can convince me here. Read it out of your version, Jane. And in the day of your gladness, and at the, in your appointed times, and at the beginning of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over your peace offerings, and they shall be a remembrance for you before your Elohim. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Yeah, See, I think it, this is for them. This is it goes. Yeah, it goes into it. You're supposed to blow it over your peace offerings, and I, I, I don't. Yeah, if it says your trumpets. Your trumpets over your burnt We've never offerings. had, we've never, but I mean, well, there's no command to get a shofar either. It just says that we should be doing this, and so... Yeah, well, everyone had a shofar back then. Everyone had, like, rams where they could cut the horns off. Right, so it wasn't, right. like, a big deal where, oh, no one has a shofar. I guess we have to go buy it from the Egyptians or something. But we still have the command with a, with the, the new moon, where we blow the shofar on the new moon. Right. All mm. right. Anyone else... I, I I don't think this is a command towards us because it does deal with the sacrifices. It is like in the days of their appointed times and the gladness when they bring the sacrifices. All right, let's go. Let's continue on and we'll come back to this before we end it. Okay. And it came to pass on the 12th day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from the off the tabernacle of the testimony. What's going on, Eli? Uh, you said 12th. What did I say? Oh, 20th. All right, thank you. And it came to pass on the 20th day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up off from off the, t the tabernacle of the testimony. Sorry, guys. Can't spit it out. And the children of Yashrael took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. And they took, and they first took their journey according to the commandment of Yahuwah by the hand of Moshe. In the place of in the first place went the standard of the camp of the children of Yahudah, according to their armies, and over his host was Naxon, the son of Amniadav. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Yissachar was Nathaniel, the son of Zuar. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliev, the son of Kelon. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set forward bearing the tabernacle. And the standard of the camp of Reuben set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elitzer, the son of Shedir. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Shimon was Shelumil, the son of Zerai Shaddai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Duul. And of Kohathian set forward, and the Kohathian set forward bearing the sanctuary. And the other did set up the tabernacle against they came. 
and the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elishama, the son of Amnihud. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedi Hashur. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Avidan, the son of Gidoni. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan set forward, which was the rear ward, rear ward of all the camps throughout their hosts. And over his host was Akiezer, the son of Amni Shaddai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Ashur was Pagiel, the son of Okran. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Akiara, the son of Anan. Thus they were journeyings of the children of Yashrael according to their armies when they set forward. All right, so just a whole bunch of like stuff. What happened there? Basically, so basically they all departed and it's like this is who went in line first. Was it's the a leaders. coordinated uh, execution yeah, of like, departure. And Yahud does go out first. They yeah. go out basically because they're the. I assume they would be the strongest tribe, the most like powerful in the ways of war. Maybe they were craziest. Maybe they're a little unhinged. Maybe maybe you know, I like, set them before these the guys, nations. These guys want to brawl, so we'll put them first in case anything happens. And then I assume it'd be like though most like the most war, the most peaceful is how it would go in line. I assume that's how Yahoo would have that put. If I had to assign you guys in tribes, how where would I sign you at, Jade? I think I'd probably be in the front. You'd be Yahuda. I'd probably be Yahuda. Eli, where would you be? He'd, he'd, All pro- the middle. he'd probably be the last tribe. I think he'd be <laughs> behind me. you think he'd be behind you? He'd be, that, he'd be the next tribe after me. Does that make you the toughest? Does that make you the craziest? You uh, might be the craziest. Probably the craziest. Probably uh, the craziest. I will say batch. that they will lock up when I am killing cows. They do not like blood. Yeah. They do not like that. Yeah, that is true. So how, I, how do we deal with that? Uh, I'm not good with like animal slaughter. It's not good with like that. But you're okay with human slaughter? No, neither slaughter, which is like, and it's like animals that I know, you know. <laughs> it all depends on the situation. Well, the guy's name might be Bob, and you probably just killed Bob. Is it okay? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Okay. Just outside the gate or something, but. Yeah, no, is that that would be interesting. I, I, I have to tend to agree with Kate on that, that, uh. Cade and I have to do the cutting of that stuff, and the other guys get uh, a little bit. Uh, it, it's a gross. It's a gross thing to cut the cows. And it's the absolutely gross. And chickens. When there. you first put your hand in the blood and the guts, then you're okay. You got. You got to be able to dive that into that. That just sounds so graphic. That sounds it, awful. It does, but that's the way yeah, of, of just... life. Okay. All right. So let's uh, roll on. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. And Moshe said unto Chavav. Chavav. What did you just say? <laughs> Hobab. 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 <laughs> I did a Kobab. Hobab, and it came to Cho- Chovab. All right. And Moshe said unto Chovab, the son of Ruel, the Midianai, the Midiani, Moshe's father-in-law, we are journeying unto the place of which Yahuwah has said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will do you good. For Yahuwah has spoken good concerning Yashrael. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray you, for as much as you know how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and you may be to us instead of eyes. So he's like, he says, you will be our eyes. This is a guy, this is the... This is Jethro. This is, this is a guy that imprisoned Moshe. But I don't know why his name is Kobab instead of Yethro, which is a little weird. It's a little strange how that his name weird. has changed. Are we sure it's the same dude? It's the same, unless he has it's multiple... No, it's the same guy because he's from Midian. Remember, Moshe had another wife. That's from Cush. But it's from Cush, so. his, his other wife is Zipporah. She's Midianite. So it's the same dude then? Yeah, I think okay. the same dude. He's like, so Jethro was obviously a man in the wilderness here, as it like states. He's like, we're going to the wilderness, and you'll be our eyes. You'll, you can basically lead us in the wilderness things. We're like, we're basically like, we're city people. We like built stuff our entire lives we were slaves, we're slaves. We're city and so slaves. he's like he's like we'll be good to you he's like well you'll you'll be part of the family you'll be one of us he's like just stay with us and uh, you will be our eyes you'll be you'll be our guide to this whole wilderness survival thing yeah that's the same dude if it is the same dude that imprisoned moshe for years for 10 12. years 12. 12 years all right and it shall be if you go with us yay it shall be that what goodness yahuwah shall do unto us the same will we do unto you so they're trying to bribe the father-in-law to hang out with him. Not working. Okay, and they departed from the Mount of Yahuwah three days' journey. And the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah went before them in the three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. So I think he went. I think he went with them. Did he? It just says, he's like, we shall do to you. And then they departed. It just left. So I huh. think he went with them. Maybe he did. All right. All right. And the cloud of Yahuwah was upon them by day. And when they went out of the camp. And when it came to pass, when the Ark set forward, that Moshe said, rise up, Yahuwah. And let your enemies be scattered, and let them that hate you flee before you. And when it rested, 
He said, Return, O Yahuwah, unto the many thousands of Yashrael. All right, back to 10. I don't want to leave here. I hate leaving things that I do not understand because I feel like we'll miss it. Anyone have anything? Mm, I let's, almost, read the, let's read the command. Also in the day of your gladness and in the day of your feast days and in the beginnings of your months ye shall blow with the trumpets over your see it doesn't stop it just says in the beginning of the months ye shall blow with your trumpets over your ascending smoke offerings it doesn't say blow with your trumpets and then over it it says over your ascending smoke offerings and over the sacrifices of your memorial offerings. so this is a sacrificing thing this is if they are sitting there sacrificing they're going to sit there and blow their trumpets over the top of it right over the over the sacrifice right this is to get Yah's attention. And he says, it's a memorial before Elohim. So, yeah, I think the trumpeteers would do that. Does anyone have anything different? I think you're right. I think it's I think it's for the sacrifice. I think it was for like the priests to basically like let Yah know that here is your peace offerings or something to that degree. Can I get another witness of somebody who's sure? Not just a bobblehead. I'm not looking for bobbleheads. I'm looking for this is the right way to go. I don't want to miss a commandment. So far, I think we've done like really well. So since it's done, it says trumpets, I don't think that's for us. It is for the offering. I think this is for like the offerings on these days. Okay, Nicole? I think that's right. You think that's right? I think. Hey, uh, if you, hey, if you're you, guys listening, can, you guys can go against me. If yeah. you're listening, leave in the comments below what you think on this. Yeah, what do, what do you guys think on this? Maybe that'll help us out. So if anybody could maybe comment on that, that would be appreciative. All right, well, everybody, I think that is it. Gentlemen, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. My family out there, I go, I hope you guys have a wonderful day whenever you guys are um, watching this. Uh, may you be blessed. May Yahuwah shine his light upon you. May his grace forever be with you. May you guys forever be in his word. May Yah the love and the, the glory of Yahushua always be upon your heart, mind, and soul. May our king come soon, and may you guys all be totally blessed. Much love to everybody. Jade, what do you got? Yeah, uh, tonight is youth for y'all. Youth for y'all. Everybody, please tune in. We were going to try to do it. We tried to do an Enoch last night, but we got completely rained out. There's absolutely no way it would have sounded like the book of rain, not the book of Enoch. So, um, it's like we, static or something. Yeah, it's... it wouldn't be good. And so we will try. I don't know if we'll try it again tonight. Tonight, today's are, are pretty rough. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want to go too far because I keep forgetting things that we go. And I think the coolest thing so far is that there might be a star up there with one of our names on it. If, if that, That's in the Book of Enoch. So if you guys haven't checked out that series that we're doing, please check that out. Um, we're having a lot of fun with that. And we will be done with that hopefully very soon. All right. Anyone have anything else? Uh, read your Bibles. We'll see you guys tonight. And shalom. 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 All right.